We're going to use some great animation from Star Envirotech. People make great smoke machines for EVAP testing. We're going to be connected to our canister here where we'll be getting sucking fresh air in and it'll be coming from the vent up here in this diagram. Now this is normal operation. We're going to block manifold vacuum with a valve at the top. This is going to keep the vent open so normal canister purge can take place. What we're going to do when we're ready to unblock this vacuum that's been blocked is we're going to energize the solenoid. When the solenoid is energized, we pull that valve back. This is going to open it up and open and expose that passage and it's going to pass vacuum down to the top of the diaphragm. And when vacuum is applied to the top of the diaphragm, several things are all going to happen at one time. So pay careful attention. First thing we're going to happen, the diaphragm is going to be pulled up and we're going to close the vent. This seals up the EVAP system. The reed switch opens and the check valve opens to allow fresh air to come in and fill the chamber. This is the first phase of getting ready for the leak check. Now just pulling the diaphragm up does not make a pump. To function as a pump, the diaphragm is going to have to work in a cycle up and down and have a spring that's calibrated to push it down. Now in this particular case, the diaphragm return spring is calibrated force of six to seven inches of water. When pressure builds in the EVAP system to six to seven inches, the diaphragm stays up. Now the PCM is going to activate it every time it see it goes down. If pressure builds too quickly, the EVAP system is restricted. That's one finding. If pressure never builds, the system has a gross leak. Once the PCM determines that the system is staying pumped up, diaphragm is staying up, it can measure the time to calculate the amount of leaks we have, major leaks, minor leaks. So you need to understand a little bit of how the system works like this in order to diagnose. We can't wait for the leak detection pump EVAP run to run and use the leak detection pump. We're going to do it manually. You're going to need B plus supplied here, which means the car is going to be need to be running or ignition on. With the engine running, activate the solenoid by applying a ground just like the PCM would do. Engine vacuum should now be applied to the diaphragm. If it is, the switch should open. Remember all the things you need to make this work. You need B plus the solenoid, a good ground connection, and the vacuum to the leak detection pump. If those are all present, you should be able to cause a leak detection pump to pump up. Just remember, it's going to take repeated activations in order to get it to pump up. Once it's pumped up, you should be able to, and the switch stays open, you should be able to stop it and watch it hold pressure.